So I'm Sue Donovan. I'm the conservator for special collections here at UVA Library. And we're currently in the um, conservation space at the UVA Research Park. And we're working on books from the Community Book Clinic. We've got a mix of old classics and cookbooks um, that people just use to death, really love them, and they brought them in for us to fix them. So the impetus was to really partner with JMRL, uh, with the patrons of all library branches in the Char Charlottesville, Albemarle region, um, so all eight branches of JMRL, to um, have patrons bring their books, bring one book to our clinic, and we would try um, as best we can to, to fix these items. We're really happy to be able to provide the service for the community and, and give back to the community that supports UVA. The staff at JMRL were able to gather them all at one location. We brought them in, we photographed everything so that there would be before treatment um, documentation of these items. Um, and now we're working through them. So we've gotten a lot of different types of damage through this book clinic. Um, we get books that have the spine that is quite damaged that we will eventually repair. So here the spine is completely detached on the folds there. Um, we've also gotten uh, damage to um, book jackets and book covers where there are losses to the paper here that we will eventually mend and repair. And then we get items such as this cookbook where uh, clearly someone has been using this recipe quite a bit so that an entire section has detached and we are happy to mend and repair all of these different types of damage. For um, items like this where we're gonna do just some simple repairs, we'll use Japanese paper um, applied with wheat starch paste, which is inherently um, removable with water years on down the line. So if someone ever wants to remove the repairs that we do, that's completely available for them. And for this cookbook, um, a simple line of uh, PVA, so polyvinyl acetate um, glue, will be perfect for, for sticking this right back in. Um, so this is the text block of, um, of this book, um, Following the Equator by Mark Twain. Um, I've cleaned the spine, so that means taking off some of the old glue, I've put on new wheat starch paste and a Japanese paper lining. And um, when I'm approaching, approaching this book, someone sent it to us because they want to use it. So they want to be able to open it and it not fall apart when they're reading to themselves or their children or grandchildren. So um, this is a, uh, a laminate of Japanese paper and a, um, a really strong uh, type of linen called airplane linen, which is very strong and very thin as well. And I'm using a mix of uh, methyl cellulose and PVA. I'm going to add a little bit to the spine itself. Right now I'm using a uh, Teflon folder. Um, so that's exactly what it sounds like. It's a an instrument that's made completely out of Teflon to bone down, really rub down the spine. And I'm even going to get um, the spine a little wet. Um, this, I'm going to get this linen a little more wet so that I know that it'll be a better attachment. And so I'll just, now that I've thoroughly humidified it. Um, I'll just wait until it's completely dry on the spine before I'll take it out and reassess to see if I need to add any more spine linings to it. What I love doing about this work is, is the satisfaction of returning a book or a piece of uh, paper or a manuscript to something that's usable. So access is really important to me. But a lot of times it's also about the, the um, objectness of the book and that it's something that's been in someone's life for a long time and it means something to them. So being able to return it to the patron or to our library um, in a way that can continue that, um, that connection is really important to me.